Right, law, investigation, and ethics. As I mentioned, um, we are going to be dealing with uh, law and legal principles. Uh, we are not going to get into specific laws, which tend to be for specific countries. Um, we will go into uh, certain aspects as they um, illustrate in certain principles uh, going through here. Um, we are going to talk about incidents and investigation. Um, most of what you need to know is, again, in terms of the management. Um, uh, specific questions about uh, different types of forensics, uh, computer forensics, small drive forensics, network forensics, software forensics. Um, digital forensics as a whole um that you know if you if you know those areas yes you will you know that stands you in good stead but you probably will not see an awful lot of questions on that in terms of ethics now i've i've got to say i consider ethics to be important i am somewhat disappointed um that uh there is not more um, attention paid uh, to this, but it is um, extremely difficult to uh, assess someone's actual ethics rather than them knowing the right answer on an exam. So um, I can see why uh, about all you really need to know is the ISC2 Code of Ethics and the, the four canons, and we will go into that, but I'm going to get into some additional uh, ethics stuff as well. So, um, to begin then uh, with uh, what you need to know, the legal requirements that your enterprise faces. Uh, and we have... Um, we have different types of law. We have uh, criminal law. Uh, now, I, I and yeah, we're going to get into uh, legal systems in a bit here. Um, but uh, in pretty much all uh, legal systems, we have this tripartite division. And we have criminal law. That's, you know, where you can go to jail. Um, we have uh, civil law. And, and this is uh, uh, sometimes known as tort law. This, this has to do with lawsuits. You have done someone some kind of injury and um, the uh, court is deciding some financial uh, compensation that you owe the person that you have injured. Uh, so uh, there is that. Now, again, um, civil law as a category of law uh, should not be confused with civil law legal systems. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll go into that. There is, there is common law legal systems, there are civil law legal systems, there are traditional uh, law legal systems, and there are uh, religious law legal systems. Um, but, uh, no, when, when here at this point I'm talking about civil law as a category of law, we have criminal, we have civil, and we have regulatory. Now, regulatory law, um, your business um, may be regulated in some specific way. If you are a, a financial uh, services company, if you are a bank, um, there are regulations for that. Generally speaking, if you are a telecommunications company, there are specific regulations as to what you can and cannot do with regard to how you conduct your business uh, in regard to telecommunications. Um, one of the probably best examples of regulatory law and the, and the difference between it and the other types of law is your driver's license. Um, that is a regulatory law situation. 
uh, not quite purely, but in, in very large measure. And, you know, people say, you know, I have a right to drive. No, you do not have a right to drive. Uh, driving, operating a vehicle is regulated. You have to follow the regulations. And, you know, the uh, human rights legislation and the, you know, UN Declaration of Human Rights and that sort of thing has nothing to do with the regulations regarding your ability to drive. You've got to pass the driving exam. You have to follow the rules of the road as regulated by your uh, governmental jurisdiction. Um, you know, that, you know, that's it, full stop. Now, there are, as I say, you know, it's, it's not quite pure regulation there. Um, I do community policing, uh, we do speed watch, uh, we give people quite a margin before we write them up. Uh, and even when we write them up, because we are not police officers, um, we are volunteers, um, we don't issue tickets. Tickets are issued and, and it's part of the regulation of, of driving and, and that sort of thing. Um, but in addition to the margin that we give in terms of, you know, how fast over the speed limit you have to go before we even, you know, take down your license number and get somebody to send you a letter, uh, the, uh, if we clock you, I clocked somebody in town, in town, where the speed limit is 50 kilometers an hour. I clocked somebody going 94 kilometers an hour. Now at that point, when you are in excess of 80 kilometers an hour within city limits, that is not just speeding. That is dangerous driving. That then is a criminal offense. So, uh, you know, the, as I say, you know, it's it's... Uh, not quite pure regulation there, but that maybe gives you an idea of the difference between criminal law, civil law, and regulatory law, and particularly regulatory law. Now, the... Um, that... Uh, thing about, and we'll go into it a bit more, um, later, uh, you can't be thrown in jail for a speeding ticket, you know, that's regulatory law, they don't do that, drunk driving, they can throw you in jail, that's a criminal offense, going 80 kilometers an hour within the city limits, that is not just speeding, it's dangerous driving, operating a vehicle without due care and attention, and therefore that is a criminal offense. They could throw you in jail for that. Probably won't, but they could. So, know the difference. Criminal, civil, regulatory law. <laughs>